In today's video, I'm gonna be covering BlackBerry stock because they have an extension of a partnership that already existed. And at the same time, I wanna cover short positions because it has increased, it is important. Also to note, before I cover short positions and the increase, I, the stock right now has gone down, right? So $3.05. But at the same time, if you saw my last video in terms of the stock market overall, uh, the S&P 500, so basically I'm just gonna look at SPY, which is an ETF of the S&P 500. The whole entire market's basically down for the most part. And that's because there was inflation numbers that came out today and we got some numbers coming out tomorrow. So we could still see an impact the downside potential a little bit tomorrow as well uh, throughout the week. So this week's pretty busy for the market. So that's, if the market goes down, other things get dragged down. And if you've been investing in BlackBerry, it always gets affected as well too, for the most part. Now, in terms of the short positions, you look at ticker symbol BB for the US side and it got updated as of, uh, updated for the March 28th number. This is self-reported numbers, by the way, in terms of short positions. So they are self-reported, so it could be higher, but before it was 8.08%, .08%, I believe, or something like that on the low eights, and now it has increased to 8.99%, so basically 9%. Now, in terms of the Canadian side, it was already updated before, but just recap, BB.TO, ticker symbol for Toronto Stock Exchange, and it uh, from March 28th as well, again, it's at 3.03%. So that puts us a little over 12% shorted positions. Uh, now, to be consider considered extremely shorted, it has to be 20% or higher, but I still think 12%, give or take a little bit higher, is uh, decently shorted. The significance of that is if the short, like in terms of psychology of short, like short position holders, you can think of the way, like if you were holding short positions, if you think the stock is, has gone low enough where you don't think it'll go any lower, you'll just end up covering your shares and buying back the shares to cover your position, right? So if that's the case, then hypothetically, it, they don't have to wait until the holders of the shares originally call back for their shares. They could buy it beforehand. And if it's extremely shorted, especially if it was 20% or higher, that could trigger more of a better chance of a domino effect where they buy back their shares than the other ones who are holding their short positions as well think that the same situation is happening where it won't go lower and they'll buy back their shares. And if they buy shares back, just like supply and demand, them buying shares drives up the, the share price and so on and so forth. So that's the significance of it. And that's why I'm constantly keeping an eye on it. And right now we're at a little bit over 12%. Again, these are self-reported numbers. As of March 28th, by the way, it could it could have increased, it could have decreased uh, within, to like for example, April, to April 10th today. Uh, now in terms of, let me see, so yeah, right now we're at $3.06, again, drop down because of the market in terms of inflation numbers and tomorrow's PPI numbers. Uh, and if you want to know more about that, I have the video posted in terms of this overall stock market. I believe it was my latest video. And then in terms of the press release, ETAS and BlackBerry QNX forge partnership to provide the safe and secure foundation for the software defined vehicle. Now it's always nice. We're seeing collaborations, all that stuff and partnerships. This is a continuation partnership, so that's good. We had collaboration with AMD. So the, so far the company is moving in a great direction. Um, it's just, we still gotta keep going, but for the most part, everything seems like it's laying the good foundation for the most part. And I still believe for the next 12 months, this is essentially foundation layout. After 12 months, we should see some good growth in my opinion. But again, this is all just my opinion. So please, like always, do your own due diligence and research before buying and selling. And I do own shares in BlackBerry stock, so keep that in mind while you're watching this video. So as of April 10th, Germany and all stuff, ETAS GmbH, a leading solution provider for the development of automotive software in BlackBerry QNX, a business unit of BlackBerry Limited, have signed a contract to jointly sell and market software solution, accelerating the development of safety critical functions for next generation software defined vehicles through this new streamlined reselling partnership, extending the existing long running technical partnership between ETS and BlackBerry. Both companies will provide pre-integrated software leveraging ETS middleware and based uh, RTA VRTE based on our AutoStar adaptive and the QNX operating system to provide a high performance and safe foundation for the development of microprocessors based vehicle computer demand domain control electronic control unit ECUs. So additionally, this includes ETAS automotive firewall and host based in, uh, intrusions detection technology allowing automakers and their suppliers to implement continuous security monitoring in compliance with um, these codes. So basically UNR 155 and ISO SAE 214343, uh, or sorry, 434 standards. As the automotive industry shifts towards SDVS, proven foundational software and auto star adaptive standard grow in significance to deliver a safe, secure, and trusted real-time operating system and hypervisor foundation. Next generation automotive uh, EE architectures will strongly rely on powerful vehicle computers driven by microprocessor technology 
the software from ETAS and BlackBerry QNAX provide a robust solution or foundation for data management, communication, task execution, safety, security, and flexibility, which will continue to empower automotive manufacturers to deliver in in innovative features, enhancing safety and security, and pave the way for future and uh, the future of mobility. This collaboration continues the journey that we undertook five years ago to create the leading microprocessor-based automotive software integrated solution, supporting the AutoStar Adaptive Standard. With this now in intensified co cooperation, ETAS and BlackBerry QNX unit unite their uh, com competencies to accelerate the su support for the rapid technology change in the automotive industry towards a software-defined vehicle, states uh, Morella Mentello, sorry for mispronouncing the name again, Executive Vice President, Sales and Member of the ATS, uh, ATAS Board of Management. Partnerships like ours with BlackBerry QNX are pivotal, reshaping the industry economical, economic framework and facilitating the adaption of emerging technologies. Optimized software and technology integration backed by trusted and established ecosystem suppliers, CISC, uh, critical to the long-term success of next-generation connected vehicles, said Grant Corvell, Vice President Pro Product and Products and Strategy at BlackBerry QNX. Our continued and growing collaboration with ETAS brings our trusted technologies together, enabling automakers to bring exciting new innovation to market faster and more cost efficiently, effectively, sorry, for their customers to learn more, so on and so forth, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, so overall, I think the company's moving at a great uh, pace. Uh, they're doing some great work in terms, again, collaborations like with AMD partnerships and so on and so forth. Uh, we just got to still wait for the time being. The stock is still uh, sitting at a good position right now, again, with the market being down and all. And uh, short positions have increased, but again, that could add fuel to the fire later on once the revenue comes in. Once revenue comes in, it's undeniable. And uh, hypothetically, short positions, they don't have to cover, but they'll be almost forced to cover if that makes sense. But yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.